Hey guys, welcome to the next video on OpenCV tutorial for beginners using Python. In the last video, we have learned how to use mean shift algorithm to find and track objects in the video. In this video, we are going to learn cam shift algorithm to track the object in the video. So if you have seen the last video, we have written this uh, code. So we are going to use all this code which we have written in the mean shift uh, video tutorial. And first of all, let me just run this mean shift code which we have written in the last video. And we have discussed about this problem of this rectangle which always remains the same even if the object is coming closer to the camera. So we need to adopt the window size with the size and rotation of the target. So once again, the solution came from OpenCV Labs and this time they introduced an algorithm which is called cam shift which stands for continuously adoptive mean shift so this cam shift algorithm applies mean shift per first and then once the mean shift converges it updates the size of the window in addition it also calculates the orientation of the best fitting eclipse to it now let's talk about the implementation part of the cam shift so as I said, all the code which we have written in the last video will remain the same except one thing which is we have used this mean shift algorithm in the last video and in this video we are going to use the cam shift. shift. So just write cv dot cam shift and all the parameters also will remain the same which is destination, track window and the termination criteria. So let's uh, run this code once again and let's see what result came out of this algorithm. So you can see this rectangle is changing its size according to the target. Now this result which we have seen can be better because the cam shift function returns a rotated rectangle that is our result and also the box parameters which are used to be passed as the search window in the next iteration. So here when we see the result inside the ret variable, so let's print the result inside the ret variable. I'm going to just uh, print it using the print function. Now let's run this code and let's see what uh, this ret variable prints on the terminal. So let me just uh, press escape. So what is this result? So here you will see the value of x and y and also you will see these three values which are your width, height and the value of rotation. So in cam shift you can also rotate your rectangle according to your object size. So now we are going to use all these parameters which are there inside this ret variable and we are going to try to draw the rectangle which might be uh, rotating. So there will be a different approach other than uh, this uh, rectangle. We are going to use that approach to print those uh, points which we got using the ret variable. So let's draw that rectangle. So here we are going to define a variable called pts and there is a function called cv dot box points. So we are going to use the, that uh, function here which is box points and it takes a few arguments. We just need to uh, pass our ret variable here. So we are going to just pass our ret. So let's see what values this is going to give us. So I'm going to just print this uh, pts value. So I'm going to just print the value of pts uh, now. Let's run this. Uh, code once again you won't see anything and you will see these values right so it's going to uh, give these floating point values which we need to convert it into the integers and the error was due to this because this is no longer defined right so for that we are going to just convert these points pts into the integer value so i'm going to overwrite this variable pts and then there is a function in numpy which is called int 0 and here when you pass 
this PTS uh, variable, it's going to convert those points into uh, the integers. And now we can uh, just draw our rectangle. But remember, this is a rotating rectangle, so we cannot use this normal rectangle uh, function. So we need to use the other function for uh, drawing those points. So I'm going to define this uh, final image uh, variable once again, and then I'm going to use cv.polylines. So there is this function called polylines, which can, you can use to draw those uh, lines which you get using this points variable. So we are going to just uh, pass the frame first of all. So we need to pass the frame as a first parameter. The second parameter will be our uh, PTS value. And then the third parameter will be the closed or not closed. So when we pass uh, true here, then this rectangle will be closed, right? Then we need to pass the color. So you can pass any color here. Let's say it 0, 255, 0. And then you can also pass the thickness. So let's say we just need to give the thickness of 2 here. Okay. So this is our final image. And now we are going to run this uh, example once again. And let's see what happens. So you can see this rectangle is drawn. And it can rotate also with the object. So this is how CamShift algorithm works with OpenCV. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.